when the roommates Brian Chesky and Joe Jebbia went broke and couldn't pay their rent, they decided to rent out air mattresses in their apartment for $10. Little did they know they would one day create a multi-billion dollar company. But when they were starting out with their business, a lot of people said it was the worst idea ever. But who is laughing now? Here is how it all began. The co-founder of Airbnb, Brian Chesky, was born in a humble family. His parents were social workers, so his family didn't have much money. As a child, Brian was very interested in art and wanted to go to art school, but his parents weren't happy about that. They gave him an advice to look for a job that makes money. His mom was worried that he was going to be paid nothing. Before heading off to art school, his mother told him, make sure you don't move back home and live in my basement. But it was in art school where he met Joe Jebbia, who would later become one of the co-founders of Airbnb. Joe said to him, Brian, I think one day we're going to start a company together. After graduating, Brian began working as an industrial designer, but he was unhappy with his job. So one day he went to work and quit his job, went home, picked up an old foam mattress, shoved it in the back seat of his old car, and with thousand dollars in his pocket, he drove to San Francisco in 2007. But when his friend Joe told him that the rent was more than $1,000, he realized that he didn't have enough money. They were broken looking for a way to pay the rent. But when a local conference had booked up all the hotel rooms and every local hotel was sold out, they had an incredible idea of renting out air mattresses in their apartment for $10. They called it Air Bed and Breakfast. In 2008, they joined forces with their old roommate Nathan Blacharzik and began working on their business. When they were trying to establish the Airbnb company, Brian and his co-founders didn't have much money to start. They were already broke and thousands of dollars in debt. So to help raise funds, they created limited cereal boxes for the upcoming election called Obama O's and Cap McCain's. They sold all 500 boxes and raised nearly $30,000 that they put back into their business. And the rest is history. So what began as a small crazy idea to pay for the rent became a multi-billion dollar company. Airbnb went from renting air mattresses for $10 to becoming $100 billion success story. But their success didn't come easy. Our overnight success took 1,000 days. And we had really smart, credible people out there telling us no. And had we listened to them, there might not be Airbnb today. So remember, Sometimes a crazy idea that no one believes in can change the world. So, what's your story?